do apologise about that guys. Um, my mum rang me and every time someone calls me it, it cuts the camera off. So apologies about that abrupt cut there. This will have to be a part two to this one. So it'll be a part one and part two. Um, as I was saying, there's this pen that as she's going like that, it's releasing the drills as she's moving along like that. So it's really, really, I, I'd love to get that. It's like, a, it's called a diamond painting spring pen, I think they said. So uh, yeah, very, very interesting. So, uh, yeah that's what annoys me about my mum is she'll just ring me for stupid things like she'll ring me up and go oh um what are you doing today and it's like don't ring me unless it's important because you know it interrupts my filming and that i don't understand that because it i did reject the call but it still cut it off so i don't get why that's done that but i'll try and stitch it don't know if I can, but I'll give it a go. Because that'll save doing like a part one and a part two, you see. So, I do apologise about the washing machine. I don't know how loud it is until I play the video back for you guys. But if I stop the cycle, it means having to restart it again, and it just, yeah, it delays it. So, this is exciting. We're on the last line now. This is, oh, this is. Very, very good, man. Yeah, man. So, yeah. I'm much more of a texter than I am a caller. I don't like calling. I like to text, so... This colour here reminds me, you know that old fashioned sweet, Palmer Violet? Um, they are lovely, them sweets. Got a really lovely taste to them. Um, so, yeah. But I might whack a DVD on later if there's nothing else to watch. But I'll have to watch it in the bedroom because my front room TV doesn't have a built in DVD player, so. But it's really weird because like the other TV I bought, it's exactly the same remote and it's so fu uh, TV, it's so funny because they've both got the same remote. So if I lose one of the remotes, it operates both TVs. It's got the same coding, so it's quite funny that. <laughs> so as you can see, as I said, you know when the drills are sort of like not in the correct alignment, as soon as you put another drill in, it will sort of rejuggle and put it into the correct position there. Um, which is pretty good. There we go. Oh, it's got a bit of a wonk on it. Let me take that one out. Put that one there. Just take that one off if I can. It's not letting me. It's not letting me. <laughs> But it's, it's also good for like waiting around, um, for, like parcels and that. So, yep. I know. I used to send my mail to my mum's because I was always working and I, you know throughout the week. But as I said, I was covering a shift that was waiting to be covered because I can't. I can only do it temporary because I've already got my own hours, so I can't. It's only like a temporary thing. Um, but yeah, um, so obviously I, at that time I needed somewhere for my packages and now I'm sort of like always in all the time apart from the weekend when I work and if I do my other job which is I can choose when, I'm, when I want to work and that and um, I seem to be more here now so I, do, I don't really do any more visits anymore, I um, only really go there if I need something. Why is there like a random, is that correct? No, it isn't, I thought so. Wow, that's beautiful. So now we've got that in. So what I'm gonna do is 21 is that bracket. I'm gonna try and do some filling here. I've got another boat here that we can use. Um, I'll try and get some that are not stuck. Um, oh, wow. I might not need them. They've actually, I mean, it's a little bit, 
but they've come out perfect. Okay, so I'll return them uh, dry sheets then. I actually pinched them out of my mum's cupboard. <laughs> she's, she's probably going, where's my tumble dry sheets gone? Like, I can't have used all them. <laughs> Saves buying it, I suppose. Right, okay, so now what we'll do is start to fill in this little gap here, and then it should be a case of just the eyes and a bit of a purple flex, like the hashtag symbol. Um, but yeah, if we can colour block this in, that'd be great. I'm going to take that label off, because I think it's... I think it's something else. <laughs> okay, there we go. So this is just brilliant. Um, we're now sort of filling in as much colour as possible. And this is the thing, like, don't panic when you've lost drills, because they will show up. And uh, I'm just really pleased that we can now get this wave here done. And it's just a case of finding the eye colour, which is that green, and then a little bit of the hashtag. And I think that's pretty done, a bit of Z. There's a symbol colour Z, and then, yeah, I think it's pretty done there. But yeah, it's it's best to get the uh, colour field first and then move on, I think, um, while we've got the opportunity to fill it in. So yeah. So as I said, this might be a part one and part two because I got interrupted with a phone call, um, but I'll try my best to stitch it into one video. Because some... Um, you know, some video platforms like, I don't know, Power Director and stuff like that, the, 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 if, it, if the video is far too long, they won't let you uh, upload it because it's too long. So, obviously there's bits of gaps here, I can see that, but I'm not too fast. Once the light's off, it won't make a difference. But look how nice that looks now that the gap's filled in. Yes! <gasps> I'm very excited when I see gaps filled in. It's it's just a sigh of satisfaction. So um, yeah. So we may. We've got about, whoa, my pen's gone blind. Uh, we may even get a bit of the third row done. If we're lucky. <laughs> oh, that's, that's lovely. Just seeing that, oh, brilliant. Because it's, it's off-putting when you see a gap, isn't it? So... Just see, see what happened there. So that drill was slightly off centre. So that drill's gone in and it's pushed it into alignment. So I have to say I've quite enjoyed working with squares. So maybe that's an option for the near future. But I would not jump to squares in a hurry. <laughs> I do like my rounds. Um, I got a question the other day, which was, what's your favourite size to work on? Generally 30 to 40s. So... That's my standard size, and I do like working on 40 to 50s as well. But look what we've got, guys. It is time to do the third block commencing. Yeah, man. So let's try and rejiggle this a bit. So we're now going to work down here. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these drills off because we've got some ones all over the place here. So let me just try and tidy up a bit, and then we'll move on. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the markings. Um, this is the colour that has got that very, that Z colour. So we will get a bit of gapage um, at the moment. But I'm probably going to take it to probably about that one there. Yeah, that's, that's nice. I'm liking that. So it will be a little bit of hit and miss for this square for the minute. So yeah, I think this is the first painting that I've ever done 
the furthest on the canvas on the video. Obviously, apart from the sunflower one that, you know that uh, pink and yellow one that I did? So, oh yes, I'll put that there, okay. Okay, so that's that one, lovely. And let me know your preference. Do you like to work on a range of different colour trays? Do you have a specific tray you work on? I love working with white trays uh, because they have the spout. If the green ones have the spout, I would you know, work on them. But generally, if I get a white tray, I'll chuck the green one away. So as soon as a white one becomes available, then I'll chuck the other one away, really. Um, it's getting a bit emotional now, you know, we're starting to get to the end of this lovely painting and uh, it's been absolutely a joy to work on. Um, and I'm actually debating, let me know in the comments what you think, but do you think I should keep the washi tape on or take it off? Because I'm wondering if it will make a good border. A bit tempted or not, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> So yeah, after this I'm going to finish watching off the video that I was halfway through and try and stitch this video together if I can, if the system will let me and then yeah, get ready to uh, do the next stage. It'd be not, I think my goal is to get about midway on this today if I can. Um, still got till 7 o'clock so yeah, I reckon we could try and push it a bit. I don't want to go too far, so we'll take it up a few more sections, a few more blocks. Ooh. But it just obviously with diamond painting, it just breaks your day up a bit rather than you know watch TV all the time or you know it just it's it's also nice when I come in from work I like to sit and just have a you know that hour unwind time and then do a bit of painting it, it's rather relaxing okay so I'm going to take it to about there I think that's a nice decent size there so I'll do that and um yeah so I'm going to take that up and start to block it up here. I'm not going to worry about them jewels there. We'll just erect them as soon as we can. Uh, so we'll just uh, take them off. Well, yeah, erect and take them off is the same thing. But we'll take them off as soon as we approach them. But we will have uh, a lot of spare jewels over as well. But, I mean, let me know in the comments what you do. Do you keep yours? Do you upcycle them? Um, I have made a card once where I've upcycled some of the drills, but I've seen people decorate shoelaces, um, you know, decorate shoes and that, so, yeah. Is that the same colour as that is? Yeah, brilliant. When you're also approaching the end, it just makes you want to do more as well. <laughs> I just uh, probably enjoy this. As I said, my journey to diamond painting started, for anyone that wants to know how I got into it, it started off with one of my acquaintances and it was a former friend that unfortunately we don't, we don't uh, speak anymore. And um, she was like, I'll give it a go. You know, maybe it's something you know you could get into and I thought oh no you know this is not my thing I'm a basically do part work builders and I tried it and I thought yeah I'll give it a go and um yeah it's uh I've never really looked back since I mean there has been times where I've had paintings where it's the same color and it's been very light to the point of giving up on it and one there was one time where I did a different painting every day of the week so every day was a different painting and it was so overwhelming. 
that I had a massive breakdown from it and I nearly was on the verge of giving up and then I came back. I do have phases like that where I get bored of it and then I come back, but I, I, I will never ever be, I will always be grateful for that woman who got me into this because she's got me into a hobby that I'm now thoroughly enjoying and you know, she is just something that I really love doing. Um, I think a challenge would for me, I'd like to crack on with some big paintings because they can be quite a challenge. But look at that, guys, that is brilliant. And we've still got 10 minutes left. So that clock's on the brink. We've got about five minutes left. But yeah, it, it is just, oh, I love it. And as I said, it's, it's calming, it's therapeutic. It's great for killing time if you're waiting for something. Because when you start painting, the, the time goes so quick. But yesterday it felt like the day was dragging. So, yeah, it's, um, it's really lovely actually. So, yeah. It's a good job that this video weren't live because if that call came through it would have cut the stream off. So, uh, I think calling is a very cold place, you know, it's a very cold area calling. I, I much prefer emailing, I like things in writing, so, I mean back in them days you, you would only have a phone, you wouldn't be able to text, but it's, it's just not really my thing, I don't really like my voice because it's, you know, a typical Essex accent and I just... Yeah, I just don't like calling, never have really. And then companies will try to make me call and I'm like, no, you know, every company has to have an oblige to accessibility needs and I don't want to call up. So you need to accept that. Oh no, please. And what really aggravates me is when they go, oh, if you, if, if you could give us a call, we can sort that out for you. Um, no, you're, you've got email, you know, correspond by email. Oh no, we can't do that for GDPR. Yeah, rubbish. So yeah. But I'm gonna finish this line off and then I think we'll call it there because it has been a really fantastic session. We've got quite a lot done here. Where's my thing gone? There we go. So I'm gonna take them off. I know that these are error ones, so I'll, I'll push them down there because I know that they're wrong. And uh, there we go, guys. That is the last drill in. So this has been a really, really lovely session. We have got so much done here. We filled in that D colour. We've done a bit of that bracket symbol that we had there. Let's just take a look and see what it's looking like. See what I mean? It's got that very ferocious appearance. What I love is the fact that they've got this orange contour going around the eye, especially on this one. Um, as I said, whether the paint code on this one is a little bit wrong, I don't know, but you'll notice that this seems to be a smaller inner, inner triangle than this one. There's obviously flicks of orange in it as well, which obviously it seems to be a multicolour painting, but we won't get the true reaction until we finish it. It has been a really, really lovely painting to work on. I'm really thoroughly enjoying this. We're on the third row now, and it won't be long until this uh, painting is completely abolished and finished. But anyway, if you like what you see, the link to the washi tape is in the description. The link to this painting is in the description. If you want to buy that, please remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me this evening to watch this. And I will see you tomorrow at 7.30. So please remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you, thank you very much again for watching, sharing, liking, subscribing, all the wonderful things that you do uh, that help to support the channel. And um, yeah. It really means a lot. So take care, guys, and have a lovely day. Bye-bye now.